Hello, this is Judah Sher from Go Engineer with a quick tip on how to model 3D printable threads in SolidWorks. I'm working on a project to design a height adjustable keyboard tray for my desk, and I needed something that was compact, adjustable, and sturdy, so a screw mechanism was perfect. The problem is that while SolidWorks does have a tool for quickly making threads, they all mimic traditional threads in metal, which don't usually work well when 3D printed. In order to show you how to fix them, First, I'll need to model some threads. To do this, all you need to do is extrude a cylinder and then add threads to them using the thread feature. I'm putting my threads on the outside of my cylinder, setting the feature to extrude, and choosing a thread size of M10 by 1, but this should work with any thread. Now, are you ready for the magic? Here it is. Use a scale feature. I'm going to scale about the origin. Uncheck uniform scaling. And since my threads are pointed in the Y direction, I'm just going to double the scale in Y. As you can see, now the threads are much thicker, and the angle of the threads is now going to be self-supporting. Let's look at how these threads will print in GrabCAD Print. As you can see, the original threads are very thin, only a layer or two per thread, which makes them very delicate. Furthermore, because of how they stick out from the cylinder, they require a lot of support material to be printed around them so that they won't deform while printing. On the other hand, our scaled threads have neither of these problems. Each thread is several layers thick, and the undersides are at a much steeper angle, making them self-supporting and thus eliminating the need for any support structures. This makes them both faster and cheaper to print, as well as eliminating any need for post-processing for support removal. Of course, if you're making a custom screw, you will need a custom nut to go with it. To do this, you will simply model whatever shape you want your nut to be, and use a combine feature, set to subtract, to create perfectly matching internal threads. Of course, to actually work, you need a little gap, so use a move face feature set to offset to move all the thread faces out a little. I found 0.2 millimeters works well, but you might need to tweak this depending on your printer and desired fit. Unfortunately, the combine feature will delete your screw, so to get it back, just roll back the history marker to before the combine and copy the thread body before continuing. Going back to GrabCAD print, let's look at how the nut and screw look in the print preview. To make things easier to see, I've cut away most of the nut for this slice preview. If we look at the thin section on the left, we can see how the layers of the two shapes line up. Now I can tell you from experience that when you have two parts with aligned layers moving against each other, the layers like to interlock, causing the movement to feel sticky. The solution for this is also pretty straightforward. Print the nut and screw in different orientations. This way the layers can't line up and bind. In this case, if we lay the screw on its side, we also get the added benefit of making it stronger in the direction of its length. Unfortunately, this causes two new problems. Printing it in this orientation will require some support structures, which might affect the finish on the screw on that side, and it will create a small island features on the top face, both of which will also prevent smooth operation. Thankfully, to fix this, we can steal a trick from injection molding. Just cut off a bit of the threads on two opposing sides. This will give us a nice flat face to place on our print bed, eliminate overhangs that require support, and get rid of those tiny rough islands, leaving nice smooth thread profiles. And there you have it. By scaling up threads from the built-in thread feature, using combine and move face to make a nut, and then slicing off the sides of the screw so it can be printed laying down, you can quickly model working threads that perform beautifully when FDM 3D printed. If you found this useful, please let us know. We would love to hear about your projects in the comments down below. As always, please visit our website, GoEngineer.com, for access to professional training, upcoming events, and more from your number one online technical resource. Catch you later.